Welcome to this tutorial. In this lesson, we'll install Active Directory domain services and then promote our Windows Server 2016 machine to act as a domain controller. A domain controller is a special server that manages logins and security. Active Directory, on the other hand, is the system that stores all the information about users, computers, groups, and resources. Together, Active Directory and the Domain Controller provide centralized management, making networks more secure and easier to manage. In short, Active Directory is the database. The Domain Controller is the server that enforces the rules. They work hand in hand to keep your organization's network safe and organized. Why install Active Directory? Domain Controller. Centralized authentication and authorization. ADDC is the heart of identity management in a Windows network. It verifies user logins and determines what resources, files, printers, apps each user can access. Centralized management of users and computers. Admins can create, modify, or disable accounts from one place instead of configuring each computer manually. This saves time and reduces errors in large networks. Group policy enforcement. With ADDC, you can apply group policies across the network, for example. Enforce password complexity rules. Restrict USB usage. Push software installations. Scalability. Whether your network has 10 users or 10,000 users, ADDC scales efficiently. Security. Provides single sign-on, meaning one login gives users access to multiple resources. Centralized control makes it easier to enforce security policies and monitor logins. DNS integration. ADDC is tightly integrated with DNS, enabling domain-based naming, example neustmgt.local rather than relying on IP addresses. In short, we need to install an Active Directory domain controller to centralize user management, enforce security policies, and ensure efficient and secure access to resources across the entire organization. Let's begin by installing the Active Directory domain services role. In Server Manager, click Manage and select Add Roles and Features. Click Next. In the wizard, choose Role-based or Feature-based installation, then click Next. From the server pool, select your server and click Next. Under Server Roles, check Active Directory Domain Services. A pop-up will appear. Click Add Features, then continue by clicking Next until you reach the confirmation page. Finally, click Install and wait for the process to complete. Once it's done, click Close. Next, we'll promote this server to a domain controller. In Server Manager, you'll see a notification flag. Click it and select Promote this server to a domain controller. Since this is a new domain, choose Add a new forest and enter your domain name for example, neustmgt.net, then click Next. It will take some time, so be patient to wait until the next screen appears. On the Domain Controller Options page, select the Forest Functional Level and Domain Functional Level. Make sure Domain Name System and Global Catalog are selected. Then, set a strong password for Directory Services Restore Mode. In this instance, I used the password NEUST1234! Click Next. You may see a DNS delegation warning. This is expected when creating a new forest, so you can safely ignore it. Next, confirm your NetBIOS domain name, which is generated automatically. Please wait for a few seconds. Once Next button is enabled, click Next. 
leave the default paths for the AD database, log files, and SYSVOL. Click Next. On the review page, confirm your settings, then click Next to run the prerequisite check. Once all checks pass, click Install. The server will automatically restart once the configuration is complete. After reboot, log in using your new domain credentials, for example, neustmgt backslash administrator. Type the password. Open Server Manager, go to Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Here, you'll see your domain, confirming that your server is now functioning as a domain controller. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Active Directory Domain Services and promoted your server to a domain controller. Your server can now centrally manage users, computers, and policies across your network. Up next, creating a custom organizational unit. Why should we create custom organizational units in Active Directory? Custom OUs allow us to organize users, computers, and groups in a logical way, such as by department or year level. They also make it possible to delegate specific administrative tasks, so one person can manage users while another manages computers without having full control of the domain. In short, creating custom OUS gives us structure, flexibility and control, making Active Directory easier and safer to manage. Let's go step by step on how to create a custom organizational unit, OU, in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. In the Active Directory window, click the drop down arrow beside your domain, for example, neustmgt.net. Right click your domain name. In this scenario, it's neustmgt.net. Select New Organizational Unit. Enter your preferred organization unit name, example BSIT third year. Click OK. After creating a custom organization unit, we need to add sub-organizational units for better organization. Right click the BSIT third year organization unit. Select New, then click Organizational Unit. Create Computers Organizational Unit, then click OK. To add additional sub OU again, right click the BSIT third year organization unit. Select New and choose Organizational Unit. Create Users Organization Unit, click OK. This structure keeps your AD environment clean, organized, and easier to manage. User accounts allow individuals to log in securely to the domain, while computer accounts allow workstations to join the domain. Together, they make it possible to apply security policies, organize resources, and manage everything centrally from Active Directory. Let's begin with creating a user account. Under the BSIT third year OU, Right-click Users OU. Click New and choose User. New Object, User Window will appear. Enter the first name, then fill up the last name. In the User Logon Name input box, type your preferred username. For example, Paul.Eligino. Click Next and assign an initial password. You may also require the user to change the password at next login for security. Click Next, then Finish. The new user will now appear inside the user's OU. Next, 
let's create a computer account. Navigate to the computer's organizational unit, right click the OU and select New Then Computer. Enter the computer name, for example, LAB PC01. Optionally, you can assign this computer to a specific user or administrator. Click OK to finish the process. The workstation is now successfully added to the computer's organization unit. In this scenario, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of joining a Windows 11 computer to a domain. Before we begin, make sure you have a working DHCP server, domain controller with Active Directory and DNS configured. The computer must be connected to the same network and you'll need a domain administrator account to join the domain. Let's make sure it has the correct IP and DNS configuration. Open command prompt, then type ipconfig slash all. Here, check that the IPv4 address falls within your network range. The DHCP server matches your server's IP and most importantly, the DNS server points to your domain controller. If these values are correct, your workstation is ready to join the domain successfully. First, let's rename the computer. Go to Settings, then System, scroll down the window, and select About. Click Advanced System Settings. Click Computer Name. Click Change. Type a clear name for your computer. For example, LAB-PC01. Click OK and restart if prompted. Let's just do it the same way we did in the last step. Go to Settings, then System, scroll down the window, and select About. Click Advanced System Settings. Click Computer Name. Click Change. Under Member of, select Domain and type your domain name. For example, neustmgt.net. Click OK to continue. You will now be asked to enter domain credentials. Use a domain administrator account such as administrator at neustmget.net. Once verified, you'll see a message welcoming your computer to the domain. Great job! You've successfully set up Active Directory domain services, created a custom organizational unit, added users and workstations, and joined a Windows 11 PC to the domain. With this setup, you now have a centralized and secure environment for managing users, devices, and resources efficiently. This is the foundation of every Windows Server network. Keep practicing, and you'll be ready to handle real-world IT environments with confidence.